Crews have been battling that blaze at the Kentool Incorporated plant near Rockton. That's located about 95 miles northwest of Chicago. That area has been evacuated, so let's get right to Dane Placco live with the very latest on this. That video is incredible to see behind you there, Dane. Yeah, Sylvia, I've been doing this a long time, as you know, and I have to say this is one of the biggest fires and smoke plumes I've ever seen in my career. Let me step out of the way so Dee can kind of zoom in on what we're seeing right now. That is the location of the Chem Tool plant at 1165 Prairie Road Hill in Rockton. Now, to give you some sense, Rockton is about four miles south of the Wisconsin border, about five or six miles north of Rockford, and we are about a half mile east. Believe it or not, that's about a half mile away. Uh, east of the location of the plant, uh, just on the shoulder of Route 2, which cuts north and south. And we want to show you this amazing smoke bloom as Dee pans to show you it, it's just that big, thick black cloud in the sky extending up uh, at least a thousand, maybe a couple thousand feet in the air and is being carried by the wind out of the north right now to the south. Now that smoke plume is extending out about 50 miles from this plant. In fact, I could see it as I was driving out here from Elgin, and that's a good 50, 60 miles away. So this is a, a huge fire and a huge amount of smoke that's pouring over the area and leading to an evacuation. Now this uh, evacuation is taking place within about a one mile radius of the uh, plant, although we do see traffic being allowed to uh, uh, travel in the area within about a half mile because of possibly dangerous chemicals. The fire began around 7 a.m. this morning. Company putting out a statement saying that all employees are safe and all the people that live in this area, live around the plant, are apparently safe as well. Although we are hearing that there may have been a firefighter injured uh, in the commission of battling this fire. The company says it doesn't know what started the fire here. There are two evacuation sites set up, one at the Rockton Middle School, another at the Roscoe Middle School, a couple of miles away from here. And uh, those dark plumes of smoke are carrying over the Rockford area. There is a warning a, uh, uh, from the local emergency officials to people who live in Rockford to keep their doors and windows closed right now and to turn their air conditioners off because of that smoke cloud. Uh, they don't know exactly what's in that smoke cloud. That is the concern. It could be potentially dangerous chemicals. Now, this is a company that manufactures industrial liquids and uh, lubricants and grease. And some of the chemicals they use, looking at their websites, are lithium, aluminum complex, and polyurea. And so they want to keep people away from that cloud, which is rising fairly high into the sky, but is moving swiftly to the south. It's owned by the Lubrizol Corporation. We're also told that the Salvation Army is uh, heading to the scene, not just here, but also at those uh, evacuation sites. Uh, now, we're getting mixed reports at this point as to whether there have been explosions or whether there was a main explosion. As we said, they don't know what exactly started this fire at 7 o'clock this morning. But there apparently have been several follow-up uh, smaller explosions. They may have been uh, oil drums or chemical drums located within the plant that were exploding. We're also seeing pictures on social media of people picking up dark black blobs of debris, charred debris, as far as two miles away. So those explosions must have been powerful enough to send those materials quite some distance. That's the uh, situation here right now. It appears to be uh, they're, they're still fighting this fire. We're not seeing any evidence of them being able to knock it back right now. As you see, another big plume of smoke go up. In fact, we did hear an explosion about 10 minutes ago, a loud bang, probably another one of those uh, chemical drums going off. So traffic moving in front of us. This area has been evacuated. We're going to try to get some sense of uh, what's going on in the evacuation sites, those schools that are located nearby, and uh, also try to make sure that the, smoke, the wind direction doesn't change here, Sylvia, because right now we're in a good spot about a half mile away with the wind coming out of the north, blowing it to the south. But if it switches a little bit out of the west, we're going to have to get out of here fast. We'll throw it back to you. We'll stay on top of this situation, let you know what uh, any updates before the end of the news. Yeah, Dane, I have a question for you. I was listening to part of the newscast and one of the officials was saying that they really sure. there wasn't much they could do to fight this fire, which is why they're holding back. But as a person who might live be living in that area, I would be so concerned about what I might be breathing in. Do they have any advice for the people 
who are in that area besides evacuate? Because this could go on for a while. Yeah, is they are telling people who live in Rockford downwind of this uh, fire to uh, shut their windows, shut their doors, and turn their air conditioners off right now. Because, yeah, they don't know exactly what's in this cloud, this big giant black cloud of smoke you see behind me. It could be chemicals, it could be grease, it could be, uh, it could be materials. So they want to wrap their uh, arms around that before uh, giving the clear sign to anybody, yeah. of course. And it's going to take, as you say, I wasn't privy to that news conference that happened off-site from where we are, so I'm not sure exactly what they said there just a short time ago. We're going to try to catch up with that a little bit later. But just given the size and the scope of what you see back there and the dark thickness of the smoke right now. I don't see that uh, going away anytime soon. Yeah. Okay. Dane Placco, I know you're staying on that for us. Thanks so much for reporting live. Be careful out there.